In considering the announcement that Finance Minister Bill Morneau had last week with the proposed legislation, a lot of changes with, with private businesses. Yeah. There's a lot of private businesses out there and people and entrepreneurs that have created family trusts. Yep. Are family trusts still useful? Well, uh, the, the big use of family trusts and, and what paid for them, if you want, because it's a costly process to go through, is the income splitting and the multiplication of capital gains exemption, which disappeared in 2018. Um, so why would you still want the trust? What are you going to do with this trust? And this, again, is something you've got you, you to sit down with your advisor. What am I going to do? Um, a, a, a trust is still useful for some uh, situations. It's uh, an asset protection vehicle. Obviously, I can sue an entrepreneur. I cannot sue his trust. His trust doesn't do anything. So if it holds shares that have value, it's some protection for the family. Um, if an entrepreneur passes away and was intending to leave shares to a family, well, a trust doesn't die as an entrepreneur may die. It will allow the intergenerational transfer of the shares to the children. Um, and, and lastly, uh, another benefit would be if you have uh, children or, or beneficiaries of a trust who are incapable or disabled, and it's best to have the trust to hold these assets for them and to take care of them uh, going into the future. So it's not just tax considerations, there, there are uh, other considerations. There have always been other, as so long as trusts have been around, there's always other considerations, and that has to be discussed with your advisor to determine if, whether or not you keep the trust going forward.